What's up everyone? I'm Giovanni here from Web Summit 2021. I have the pleasure to be joined by electronic music legend Jean-Michel Jarre. How are you doing today? Fine and yourself? Great. Let's start with uh, your impression of the conference. What is uh, your first impression about it? I mean, I love the Web, the web Summit. It's a very interesting uh, hub for uh, exploring the future, in a sense. And, uh, and um, I'm, I'm here to talk about uh, Metaverse and the partnership I have with uh, uh, this um, very interesting um, VR platform called Sensorium and uh, to explore uh, the, the partnership we have on different, uh, different levels to, uh, to develop uh, basically uh, the relationship with uh, the audience tomorrow with new mode of expression such as VR experiences, shows, VR shows. I think the pandemic played a very important role as an accelerator for, for the digital, digital world. That I was, I was in the Web Summit uh, uh, three years ago. It's a different web, web, uh, web Summit, totally different, because now suddenly the metaverse is a buzzword, but the, the, the VR, the digital, uh, the, the, all the digital um, uh, aspects of our day-to-day -day life has changed. And uh, this is, of course, for, for an artist and for a musician, a game changer. Yeah, and you always have been interested in technology. So your music show has been have been always integrated with uh, uh, with high tech. Uh, we saw last year when you did this performance uh, uh, in a VR space uh, representing Notre Dame, the, the Cathedral of Notre Dame. That was very impressive. So now you also did um, an NFT exhibition. Uh, so. Uh, I wanted to talk about that. How did you get involved uh, with cryptocurrency? Was it with NFT or you were involved even prior to that? No, I've always, I think uh, I've always been interested in the idea of, um, of NFT even before NFT. I would say that uh, uh, a long time ago, I did um, a project. I, I released an, an album, one, uh, one copy called Music for Supermarkets. It was in the early 80s and uh, with the idea of uh, uh, that the notion of original, which is the, the philosophy NFT, should be also applied to music. And uh, I did this uh, album as one copy sold in an auction, exactly like, uh, like NFT, except it was in the analog world. But it was exactly the... So I think I created the first NFT concept back in time. So uh, uh, what I see in NFT, and it's also linked with uh, VR, it's linked with uh, Metaverse is a different way of uh, uh, considering the production of an artist. The fact that you can be closer to your fans, closer to your audience. You have a direct link on a uh, financial point of view, on an, on an economical point of view. It's also a, a real game changer. And also, it's part of the metaverse philosophy, this old, uh, the old blockchain uh, uh, system. And I think it's, uh, you have dark areas, but also you have real positive aspect for, for artists to be able to control their, uh, their lives, to control their, their also their, their, their um, uh, creations in a more direct way, in, in a simpler way. Okay, and can you tell us a bit more about this partnership that you announced today regarding uh, this uh, perspective of developing into the metaverse? Yes, I'm, I'm very happy to announce my partnership with uh, uh, the VR platform called Sensorium. It's, um, I mean, I would say the title says it all. It's not uh, just another VR platform. Everybody's talking about VR and talking about different things. What, what I like with the idea of, uh, of working with VR uh, is with Sensorium is, is, is the fact that I'm going to be able to, to create my own, my own world, my own planet my own ecosystem as, as a musician, but beyond also as a stage designer, as, a, as an architect, because music and architecture are quite close to each other. And also the fact that uh, Sensorium is uh, uh, taking as a priority the, the integrating AI. What is a, a real game changer as well to uh, actually think about uh, a, a work in progress in terms of uh, constant evolution for my for my concerts and for my work the fact that uh, my avatar would uh, would evolve with myself and it's not just uh, like the avatar i used for instance even last year where it was just 
a representation, an instant representation of myself, which is great. Is actually, I'm, I'm going to have a partner, which is going to be a, my doppelganger, my double, my, my double, my digital twin. And this is very exciting. And beyond that is also the idea of uh, creating worlds could, which could touch a lot of different uh, things, like creating a show as uh, like, a, like a music festival, but in, in, uh, in uh, cyberspace, but also, also um, being able to, uh, to explore other things like uh, meditation, for instance, creating, uh, it's also something we have in mind, to create an old world where you could, uh, you could be immersed, like, uh, like uh, going into a, a world for meditate or for, for sharing some uh, uh, totally different aspect of it yourself. And uh, so it's, it's, quite, it's a quite exciting project. Uh, regarding this project you were talking about, uh, what is the role of NFTs in it? You know, F NFT is playing a major role in, uh, in the concept of de democratization. The fact that uh, until now, social media has been considered in a very passive way for all of us. We were like products or spectators of what was going on through Instagram or through Facebook and all that. And this is already obsolete because, of course, the next, the, the next stage is what we are hoping is to be part, to have an active part of what's going on uh, with the artists we like and all that. And, and the major change, game changer for, for uh, considering NFT is the fact that anybody can, can take his or her own avatar and making an NFT with, with it to monetize this avatar in the virtual world and becoming... Uh, part of the whole uh, global uh, system in, and, and, and then be becoming a part of the overall creative process and generate some, uh, and some uh, to, to, to be able to monetize what they've done. And this is quite a, a total different way of approaching not only the economy, but the philosophy of uh, a collective cre creation. That is fascinating. So one last question is, I read a, an interview with you for the Financial Times where you were expressing concerns about the potential um, dystopic future that some technologies can generate. So you said that we need to find a balance in between um, ecology, um, but also our relationship with, with technology. And uh, so uh, what is uh, the risk that uh, blockchain technology and cryptocurrency and NFTs uh, can pose if not uh, used correctly? What kind of uh, dystopian future we should be uh, aware? Um, what, what kind of uh, dystopian future we should try not to uh, create, not try to, not to generate? Okay, there is a, uh, uh, it's in the DNA of human beings to, to have a necess necessarily a dystopian vision of the future. Generation after generation, people are saying yesterday was better, tomorrow will be worse. And it's not that true because otherwise we won't be here talking to each other. So for the blockchain, of course, blockchain is uh, as an, an, an issue in terms of environment. But you know, we are still in the dark age of, uh, of um, even of Internet, of the web. All this, we are still in the Wild West. We need regulations, we need to think about, we need to make progress. You know, in the blockchain from the, the first crypto, mon crypto money to the, to the uh, cryptocurrency to the, to the new ones, there is a big change about the fact that uh, now the new ones are consuming, are polluting much, much, much less than before. So I think that in terms of NFT, we have lots of progress to, to, to make to, to actually getting a, a safe, uh, ecological ap approach and I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that we can only survive in the 21st century if we can create a, a fair harmony between technology and, and ecology and of course blockchain is an issue at the moment blockchain is consuming and polluting a lot but it's polluting less and less and we this is the reason why you know uh, uh, people like us have the responsibility to to create a, a kind of uh, to think about the ethic or the ethical part of all what we are talking about. On one, on one side, like any technological progress, you have lots of advantages, but we have to be aware of what the negative uh, backlash it could create. 
So it's, it's our responsibility to make it positive. And I think more than ever, we should be optimistic by subversion and being conscious of the risk, but at the same time, I mean, playing the game because actually, of course, NFT and, and, uh, and blockchain is necessarily a future for artists and creators because we can have a direct link with artists, uh, with, uh, with our fans and with the audience.